bird. They feed him using a, an eye drop dispenser through his open esophagus. And they give him milk and water and an occasional grain of corn. He was well cared for and not in any pain. The curious creature, once destined for the dinner plate, soon becomes a member of the Olsen family. And it's even given a pet name, Miracle Mike. Word of the astounding animal quickly spreads through the farming community. Pretty soon, they've got neighbors knocking on their door, and they would bring a six-pack of beer in exchange for taking a look at this chicken. When the local journal publishes a story about the unusual creature, it sparks a media frenzy. And soon, Miracle Mike is earning a lot more than just a few bottles of ale. And this is when a promoter talks the Olsons into putting Mike on the sideshow circuit so that they can share Mike with the rest of the country. The show hits the road, making its way across the country. And at each stop, adoring fans marvel at how the animal could possibly still be alive. At the sideshows, they were charging people 25 cents a pop to see Mike. But at the height of Mike's popularity, he was making about $4,500 a month. And so for a farmer like Lloyd Olson, that was a lot of money back in 45. For 18 months, Miracle Mike Mania overtakes the nation. But the life of a shooting star can be short. And one night at a hotel room in Phoenix, fate finally catches up with the celebrated bird. Mike begins to choke. And this wasn't an uncommon thing. Uh, mucus would often get clogged in his throat. But a quick shot of water down his esophagus with the eye dispenser cleared it up very quickly. But they can't find the eye dispenser. So while they're scrambling around frantically trying to come up with it, Miracle Mike sadly passes away. Although Mike is gone, the mystery remains. How could this chicken survive for a year and a half without its head? In search of answers, Olson donates the rooster's remains to science. And they discover some amazing things, actually. Normally, in a beheading, the major arteries in the neck are completely severed, and the chicken bleeds out. Well, in Mike's case, the artery was only partially severed, and a clot had formed, which prevented him from bleeding to death. The researchers also discover that despite missing his head, most of Mike's brain stem was left intact. The brainstem controls most of the motor functions, breathing and heart rate, and the chicken's reflexes. So Mike was able to live his life relatively easy due to these two circumstances. There has never been another reported case of a headless chicken like Miracle Mike. And this rare bird's story is one that the town of Fruta will never forget.